Hey guys, I'm here today with the Mac OS X Mountain Lion Major Features Overview slash Review. To start off, um, the new Reminders app in Mac OS X Mountain Lion. It's really not much review here. The name pretty much makes it glaring ob obvious. So, pretty much it just reminds you to do stuff at a specific time. Um, it's, as far as I know, it's not quite as, like, time in, um, GPS location accurate as Siri is on the iPhone 5, 4S, or pretty much any Siri-enabled device, except for the iPod Touch. But it still does remind you to do your stuff, say you're on the internet for, like, four hours straight and you forget to do something, it will remind you in your notifications which I will be getting to later. Next up is the message is the new messages application. Uh, um if you've ever used iOS, you you will be very familiar with this interface. It's the exact same as the iOS interface as far as I know. It is integrated with iChat, so it did replace iChat with these new features. Um it's pretty much like a status so, like, if you're available or out to lunch or something like that, it's very accurate. And it allows you to edit your status menu. Um, you can pretty much add one, like, at work or something like that. Um, of course, you can't um, message anyone via SMS or MS, MMS, but you can um, message anyone um, from another Mac or iOS device and it does allow you to pick up your conversation right from your iPad, iPhone or iPod touch or any other Mac with OS X Mountain Lion. Up next is notifications. Um if you have a touchpad, I mean trackpad, excuse me, uh free Mac, you can use a two finger swipe to left from the very right of your laptop or your magic trackpad. Excuse me. It's it's tricky to get if it's your first time doing the gesture, but after that, it's very easy. Um, but if you do not have a magic jackpot or you just um, don't like having to do the gesture, you can always click this icon on the very upper right corner. Up next is a uh, dock. First off, let's pull up an image at the Maco Sex Line dock. So right here you can see that the app icons do not um, reflect as much. It has more of a slant and that makes it shorter but wider in some cases. And um, it's not as transparent but it still still has that transparent effect to some extent. You can still customize the dock but not nearly as easy as it was in Snow Leopard or Lime. Up next will be... Let's check. Safari. Um, let's open up Safari. It's not even in my dock because I use Chrome. So, um, the tricker, uh, excuse me, the gesture is kind of tricky here to get to the tabs. So let's open up new tab. Let's say go to Reddit. Let's go, let's go to, um, so let's open up a, um, t a new tab here. Just like, say, Let's say Apple. Now, if you zoom, if you use a zoom out gesture, and you take it far enough, you can get to a tab view. It's very nice. So you can pretty much go to any tab. It gives you a visual graphic interface that lets you browse all your tabs to see what you have. Um, along with that, um, it has the Omni bar that's found in Chrome. It's a lot better than having a separate bar for the um. So, like, if you're coming from Google Chrome to, like, say, Safari 5, which didn't have the Omnibar feature, um, you would probably, it will take a while to get used to because you'd be going to the adjust bar to Google something, which, and that would take a very long time to get used to. Not anymore because in Safari 6, because in Safari 6, um, sorry about that, I had a little disruption there. So as I was saying, um, you have the um, Omnibar feature in the tab view. Um, as far as I know, that's the um, one of the major features. So up next is Twitter and Facebook integration, 
which you probably saw, saw during the notifications pop up over here. So, if I um, click the tweets or maybe click the post to Facebook, it just lets me do it straight from notifications. And if someone messages me or mentions me on Twitter or Facebook, then it will pop up as a notification or as a notification banner right up here. I've, I've actually find it very useful to find when my friends are online, say when I'm not online. So it pretty much tells me um, when my friends are online and when I can talk to them on Facebook. And so let's do a little demo. As you can see, you can add a location along, same with Facebook. And on Facebook, it lets you, it lets you um, um, paste a, a certain circle, not circle, group of friends that you have. And the very last major feature is notes, which you can see here. I use it for my reviews, and it pretty much reminds me to uh, what to go over. So let's make a new notes. It's actually it gets bigger. So say you wanted to like cooking cooking recipe like say one ten thousand a hundred thousand pounds of butter and one hundred grams of fat for a cake. And you can use it for recipes, a shopping list and um as you can see right next to the cooking recipe up here after a while it will say updating if you pause the video right there what it, what that is it's updating iCloud which also has been updated in Ma Mountain Lion adding more features and more integration throughout your iOS and um, Mac devices so in notes reminders and a lot excuse me in a lot of the um new features it has iCloud integration so you can Pretty much anything along with message messages, notes, reminders, calendar. Um, that's iCloud integration. So what it does, if you whatever you do, it's automatically updated. So if you pick up like your iPhone, like say you just got in the car and you pick up your iPhone, it has the exact same notes that you just made say 10 minutes ago on your Mac. All right, that's it for this Mountain Lion review, guys. I will probably see you for another OSX review, and probably next July or. June. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm sorry for the um disruptions in this video. I probably won't. I'm gonna find a way where it's not gonna happen again. Thanks for watching, guys.